uh, very good afternoon to all of you here. So, uh, boys and girls, uh, here we are starting with a series where we're going to introduce you to the warriors who have made it to the IMs. So, we are starting with uh, Ansh Goel. Ansh, very warm welcome to the session. Thank you so much, sir. A very good afternoon to you. Hi, a very good afternoon, and Ansh, congratulations to you. Uh, before we start with anything else. Thank you so much, sir. Means a lot. So that refers to as I am Rota, correct? It is, sir. It is. Okay. Very good. Good. So uh, let me start with a simple question, and the question is, how's the Josh? Uh, so the Josh is very high. It is extremely high, I would say. However, it it is a mixed bag as far as the feelings are concerned. I am, I would say, devoid of feelings, but very excited. Okay, so I hope you're prepared with your bag, with all your belongings and everything. So packing is an ongoing process, sir. It'll go on till the day end. Yes, but I'm in the preparation mood. I am in the preparation. Mode. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So, uh, Anj, if we ask you, how was your journey throughout uh, for this preparation for this IM? How would you? Can you take us through a screenshots or uh, take us through the milestones that you would have gone through? Definitely, sir. So, sir, as far as IBM is concerned, I would say the journey began in February uh, when I joined Pratham. I primarily was preparing for CUET, I would say. However, when I got to know the opportunities that IIMs provide, uh, mm-hmm. I was very fascinated by the courses and the course curriculum and the prestige and the value that basically the institute gives you. So, I started preparing for the IBM uh, examination, IBMAT examination. Uh, and yes, sir, the journey has been phenomenal through and through. I would say it has been a roller coaster ride, definitely, because when you prepare for an examination of this scale, it has to be a mixed bag as far as the emotions are concerned. Mm-hmm. Some days were very high, some days were relatively low. However, I would say this journey not only gave me a selection, but it gave me a deep perspective in life, into myself, and also made me a more capable individual, in my opinion. So it has been a fantastic journey. Okay, great. So, um, uh, Ansh, as you said that you, earlier you were preparing for CUT and then you looked into I am uh, a, a beautiful course curriculum and you have been enticed by it. Uh, so, I am sure between CUT and I am, there is a big gap, right? There is a big gap in terms of uh, paper because CUT happening for the first time and I am, uh, we know what is a curriculum like and how would that go. So, I would uh, uh, like to know that what was your weakness uh, before uh, joining this uh, Pratham test prep and what you actually worked upon. All right, sir. So I would say I've always been a disciplined individual. So as far as my scheduling is concerned, that was not a major problem for me. However, in terms of guidance, in terms of the material that I've received from Pratham and along with that, sir, the hand to hand support that the coaching has provided me, I think that has been fantastic. Uh, absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. And I think that has turned the tables around for me as an individual. Because sir, mm-hmm. when you get into a competitive examination in which say 20,000, 25,000, 30,000 students are preparing and the seats are as limited as 100, 120 seats. I think that detailed guidance that Pratham provided me, uh, that was the game changer for me sir. And I would, I would like to appreciate all the teachers everybody for that because that turned the tables around and and more than that Anj, it was your effort as well because you have also put in an effort it's it's always a collaborative effort that we put in and with which we get the result right you. Uh, so you said that you were very good at uh, scheduling that's what you said so uh, Ansh, would you like to please help us out uh, with what kind of a schedule that you had so that the students who are still preparing for 2023, 24, 25 and onwards, uh, they should get us some idea about it. What schedule can actually work? This might not be a wholesome idea, but this is one of the method with which they can get into. All right. Sir. All right. So, sir, as far as my schedule was concerned, I have always been an individual who is very organized in nature. Like I like to draft the entire day's schedule in advance. Because that gives me a purpose, a prerogative and a perspective about the entire day day that I'm going to have. So as far as the last three months are concerned, because I prepared majorly for three months as far as IB Matt is concerned. Mm -hmm. I used to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, I am an early waker. So that is my individual perspective. Uh, Depends upon the individual. I used to wake up at five. Then I used to go for a jog. Till 6.30, I used to work out. I was back at 6.30. Then from 6.30 onwards, I used to take a break till 7 o'clock, sit with my parents and a little relaxing, uh, you know, 
batch of time and 7 o'clock sir i used to sit for studies and as far as my personality is concerned sir i i like to have bursts of 2 hours each i have bursts of 2 hours and then i take a break of about 15 to 20 minutes so my day was divided as such i gave 2 hours to quantitative aptitude say 7 to 9 early in the morning it was always quantitative aptitude because my mind was fresh then sir after quants i felt a little overburdened and because english is something that i always enjoy it is a beautiful language and i love doing that that is the reason why from 9:30 onwards to 11:30 i used to go for english then i took a break of half an hour again till 12 o'clock 12 to 2 used to be my third burst and that used to be logical reasoning uh okay. 2 o'clock i used to take a long break sir in that long break it was three things were included primarily one was half an hour sleep second was a bath and third was my lunch a half an hour slot for each 3:30 i used to be back at my table then 3:30 to 5:30 i used to go for my scholastic subject say 3:30 to 5:30 is mathematics then 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock is accountancy then 8 to 8:30 is dinner then 8:30 to 10:30 is uh, economics per se and then 11 o'clock sir i used to go to bed so that was my standard schedule in the last 3 months and yes some days i followed it very diligently some days it was 80% some days it was 20% but yeah that is the part of the process i i understand that cheating can be done but it should not be done at a larger scale cheating uh, is done that's that we understand yes. that uh, also if if uh, you can bring in how did you maintain a balance between your school and between the preparation for your iams always got it so so the thing about my school or i would say my scholastic subjects is i was very strong in them like i have maintained uh, a decent standard in my scholastic subjects right from the very start i have been allocating allocating time right from the beginning of class 12 that is the reason why it was not a rush kind of a situation towards the end in the last 3 months i was not crammed with work as far as the scholastic areas are concerned hmm. the balance i would say i was primarily so preparing for two examinations one was ip math second was cuet and of course like when you prepare for boards cuet to an extent gets prepared so i would say the balance maintenance was not a very tough job if you prepare right from the beginning for the scholastic parts and towards the end if you give it a push for the entrance examinations i think it can work out very easily at least it did for me it was not a difficult situation that i was facing in this respect so So, yeah. Correct. Uh, it was primarily your schedule uh, from morning till evening, the one that you'd already made. So it was spread over the period of time, and True. it was spread over the year, uh, over the months, which had actually helped you out cracking this. Right? That yeah. makes sense. Uh, so, Ansh, if I ask you, what is that one thing from Pratham Test Prep that really helped you? I understand that everything would have contributed to some portion, but there is something which is at the top. Can it be mocks? Can it be faculty? Can it be material? Can it be uh, the knowledge primers, additional material, PSIs? Any one thing, only one thing. If I may ask you, it's a difficult task. I know it's a difficult task to identify that, but still, only one thing. so if i have to mention one single thing i know it's it's a, it's a very difficult task but one thing i would say is faculty sir uh, okay. i think the faculty is phenomenal amazing people very helpful they are available throughout the 24/7 schedule they also follow along with us and the enthusiasm i think they instill in you is something that will carry you throughout the journey so i think that has been very special sir they make you feel the books they make you feel the material they make you feel the course so that has been the biggest help in my opinion yeah oh lovely very good for that so uh, it is primarily the faculty members that had motivated you uh, to go to the x place to the y place and perform the things accordingly true, true that okay uh, uh, so uh, ansh we believe that uh, taking mocks is one of the crucial elements of preparing of uh, preparing for any of the entrances as a matter of fact so if i may ask you when did you start Uh, uh taking the mocks and how was the mock structure with you i mean what was your feeling and then how did it develop what additional that you put in with respect to the mocks per se all right sir so i think this is going to sound very unconventional and probably many people won't believe me as well but i did not do a lot of mocks uh, that is the truth. ah uh, maybe because you have already done many questions right from the beginning therefore it was not the need of the r uh, you that have already distributed that mock into the over the period of time so that could be one of the rationality definitely sir that was one of the reasons so the thing with me is i always emphasized on concepts right from the very beginning 
I emphasized on speed along with the concepts. Like I did not wait for mocks to come into the picture as far as the speed is concerned. I think some mocks come into the picture because they give you a wholesome idea of the paper one, and secondly, time management, the biggest aspect of an entrance examination. So time was there with me right from the beginning. I was never weak on time because I kept that in check right from the very start. Right. However, as far as Rohtak and Indore is concerned, I attempted ten mocks each, uh, both the papers, <laughs> and mocks are very important. I would say that does not undermine the importance of mocks. However, it is it depends upon the individual, your level of confidence, and the time you have. Like the way I allocated my schedule, I emphasized more on concepts. I was like. I should be done with each and every single concept thoroughly, and then whatever time I'm left with, I will begin with mocks. So I think, sir, Rotak, I had 26th of July was the date of the paper, if I'm not wrong. Correct. No, it was it was before 26th of June. 26th June. of June. Hmm. Right. So I think 15th was the day I started sitting with mock. Uh, started sitting with mocks particularly, and one day one mock. That was my schedule for 10 days. So yeah, I think. Mocks are very significant, but again, uh, depends upon the individual. Sir. Right. So, um, what I can understand here is um, you were preparing throughout. You had uh, already uh, a check on your timing, and then you start working towards your accuracy level. That's what you did, right? True, sir. Correct. So, uh, uh, Punch, if I may ask you, that um, what was your weak area, and how did you work on that? Weaker area, and uh, to what extent were you able to handle that? All right, all right. So I would say, as far as my see, potential is very subjective, sir. Like there is no, there is no barometer for potential. Absolutely, right? we cannot, we cannot judge our potential. Nobody can. But an individual does have an idea about himself or herself that you know this is where I stand. And as far as my concentration or my grasping part is concerned, that has been strong right from the beginning. Very good. That has never been a problem for me. I think the problem for me always has been psychological in nature. I mm. give up at times. I feel disheartened at times, and I think that was the major battle for me. You know, to keep myself up all the time. That is the major battle for me, because I know I am aware of the fact that in case I put myself up or I pick myself up throughout the journey of the paper, I will crack it. That is the level of confidence I already have. So, sir, I think. Not completely. However, I am working on this this shortcoming of mine. That is the mm-hmm. psychological battle. Mm-hmm. Not to give up heart, console myself, console myself, giving myself the confidence that you know it will take time, but definitely it's going to happen. And the teachers again played a major role in that, sir. Because you know when somebody more experienced than you, uh, somebody who's been there, somebody who's been teaching the students across and across uh, through and through the years. That person tells you that you know it is going to be fine with that with that expression. I think it instills a lot of confidence in you. And along with that, sir, I would I would like to take this platform to thank my parents as well, sir. Uh, if you if you allow me, absolutely, absolutely, they, yes, absolutely. They are phenomenal individuals. They have been my biggest support system, and the ease that they put me to throughout this journey, I think that has been the biggest contribution, sir. I cannot thank them enough for that. Very good. So, very. Yeah, good, it is. Very it good. has been a contribution of everybody, but yeah, that has been my biggest battle. And to the extent that I'm able to fight it, it's an ongoing process. Right. I get that. And so let me take a little leap and let me ask you a question. Uh, which club or committee do you plan to join in uh, IIM Rohtak? All right, sir. Sir, what we've come to heard, IPM is beginning with committees this year. It did not have committees for the students in Rohtak. But it is but, but they surely do have the clubs. Uh, let me not yes, talk about committees, but they did definitely would have the clubs, uh, clubs, right. committees, or uh, the organizations that they have. Uh, they generally have that. True that. So, sir, definitely, I'll be joining the debating society because that is something that is very close to my heart. The cultural group and the event management group. Again, I am very enthusiastic about these individual. Uh, Uh, clubs mm-hmm. and i would like to explore the financial side of things a lot uh, i believe that is the reason why we getting into the uh, finance or something related to that the accountancy club uh, per se so that is that is my idea of the clubs as that well. is what the one very good very good uh, because uh, now why did i ask this question is uh, it is always advisable that you should have a little thought process obviously you will deviate a little bit you might take another club or a committee as a matter of fact but at the end of the day you should have a little idea about where are you going why are you going why would you be taking that or why would you know not be taking the other one 
so that is a little idea that we wanted to know about it's very good ansh i i think uh, we are understanding that point in there uh, so uh, let me ask you one more question here and the simple question here is what is the best thing that you did in this entire preparation process one best thing that you did and you are proud of yourself that this is the one thing that i was continuous about whatever be so what was that one element that you did okay so the one thing sir that i did that i'm very proud of i would say is that i enjoyed myself throughout the process ah lovely very good <laughs> i thoroughly enjoyed myself so not only uh, you know people often associate enjoyment with going out and going with friends and hanging out and watching movies i made sure that i am enjoying my studies as well you know i am gathering whatever i am gathering out of it though it becomes boring at times it becomes gruesome at times however i made sure that i am whatever i am grasping you know i am sharing that because that instills that excitement inside you that you know i have come up with something new and so i would like to emphasize on one point like i have been in an english medium school right from the very beginning but when i got to know the vocabulary rules that are being taught in prathama and that are required for the examinations i felt uh, bare i felt unemployed <laughs> i felt that i lacked knowledge uh-huh. and i genuinely like that point of uh, you know the the preparation that you know whatever i was gathering whatever knowledge that i was gathering it was not only for the sake of the examination but it was developing me as an individual as well so yeah correct. i enjoyed myself uh, that absolutely. is the best that i did. absolutely correct ansha remember i took your interview right Uh, that reminds me of uh, uh, that I took your interview, and I also remember that whatever question that I was uh, 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 posing at you, you were on a different uh, tangent altogether. You answered all the questions, even if you did not know the answer. The the way you dodged the questions uh, was again a beautiful one. That's what I remember. I still Thanks. remember that. Uh, though for most of the answers, I still have the pad with me where I've written your name, where I've given you the marks. So out of ten. I gave you the maximum marks, and you were the benchmark for the other students. So, uh, kudos, so kudos, Ansh, kudos, Ansh, for that. So, so uh, Ansh, before we wind up the session here, one last question uh, for the students who would be willing to get into IIMs in the year two thousand twenty-three, twenty-four. Any one thing that you would recommend them? All right. One thing that I would recommend the students who are attempting the examination. Okay. i would say so take it as a battle or take the examination as a battle that will be my recommendation because you know we read stories we read we watch movies we read stories we hear about battles and battles kind of infuse an enthusiasm inside us i don't know why when we watch sports movies something related to the country something related to battles we always are on the edge of our seats and i think if you treat an examination as a battle and not with not a battle with others but just you know making a point to yourself or i think that is going to provide you with a lot of clarity that is going to provide you with an objective going forward and that is going to help you achieve what you are willing to achieve i think that is going to be my suggestion moreover if i have to emphasize on one technicality i would say draft schedules very regularly right. because if you draft a schedule you are going to get through everything because you know you know what is about to come see contingency sir i think is a part of life you know some days will be 80% some days you will not be able to follow the schedule at all however i think you will be aware of where you lie in respect with your schedule so that is very important sir i always believe in schedules and my belief is getting stronger day by day absolutely correct so what you're saying is uh, the schedule and what you're another talking about another point is is the perseverance if if the thing have been continued you would get to know where are the lacunas where are the gaps where are the hiatus if for that you can start working towards that as well lovely very good thank you ansha that was a wonderful interaction with you i'm sure uh, the students who are preparing for iims they would definitely be getting the information and they would have derived the right path from uh, your conversation thank you ansha thank you for being there and all the best for you for you, for your future endeavors to you as well as to your family because it is an achievement for all of us thank you so much sir thank you so much a pleasure interacting with you all thank you, you all thank you bye bye catch you